Welcome back, Zero K fans! We're gonna be moving on now to Sob, Yorgos, Gazi, and Yogsata, because apparently Goda and Forever. Well, Forever apparently is not here right now, so Goda and Forever can't quite play at the moment. Yeah, and we haven't seen any games of Skazi yet. So we I'm, haven't. I'm curious to is see. What's going on here? And what the map? Oh options? boy. Huh? This can't be good. I have a map options thing popping up for me. For me, too. What? That speed bonus. Okay, I might as well show the stream this because this is apparently going to be relevant. So yeah, this map apparently has some custom stuff. Apparently, metal spots are all two. Okay, that's fine. That's normal. And speed bonus on rocks. What are the rocks? Yeah, but this is irrelevant for zero K. Oh, it is. So this is a complete yeah. waste of time. I mean, the the wind speed. Oh, the wind speed. Yeah. That's going to be actually 0.5 to 2.5, or something like that. That shows up in the chat anyway, so I don't know. Whatever. Future reclaim values. I, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, configure, map configurable uh, reclaim values. That's nice. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Lowry is mentioning ignore map options, but why is it showing up in the first place? That Why is that showing up? I don't know. Uh, I don't mind. It shouldn't, actually, uh, it shouldn't be showing up. It looks bad. It's not chillied. Yeah, apart from that. But you know about speed bonuses and train speed bonuses? Spring Engine handles those. Yeah, I know it handles those. those, but it doesn't matter for zero K. You you can tag your units and uh That's great. Anyway, them, you know, uh, speed bonuses get back, to, get back to the intermission graphic because this is pointless to show in the stream. Okay. They aren't even talking strategy much. Oh, Sob's going planes, but other than that, not much strategy is being discussed. Skazi is getting in, so yeah, we haven't seen Skazi and Yogg'Sathoth. I've been casting a lot of Yogg'Sathoth's 1v1s recently, and oh. I How was he doing? I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry, I don't... I've really got a bizarrely terrible memory for some reason of games I cast. I don't know why. I think he's... Well, the last one I saw was on Bandit Plains with him and Kmar that took about 40 minutes. And that took about 40 minutes. Anyway, the game has begun. So the map we... is bigger than you think. Which? The map is bigger than you think. Well, than it looks. Desert Needle certainly is, yeah. So anyway, Skazi going for light vehicles. Yogstath going for air. While Yurga goes for light vehicles. And Saab goes for air. So double air. And yeah, this map is fairly big. It's nice Oasis in the center, too. Pretty. Yeah, I probably should have made a screenshot of this map. I think I will. Yeah, it looks uh, surprisingly well. Yeah. The P screenshot. I'll do that right now. There by Q-Ray. Hmm? It's made by Q-Ray. I don't know the name. I don't think it was made for 0k at all. I don't even know when this was made, honestly. Kind of a newish map. Anyway, Saab and Yurga are well aware of what Skazi and Yogg'Sathoth are up... No, other way around. Skazi and Yogg'Sathoth are well aware of what Saab and Yurga are up to, but not the other way around from the looks of it. If they are... Well, nothing's really come up. I mean, both players are... It's the same for each. Both players are trying to take air control. Both air players are trying to take air control. Both ground players just going for pretty heavy scorcher. Actually, no, no, never mind. Slasher for Yurga. Yurga's just going for heavy defense. Mm, he just defense. doesn't want to spend that much on turrets. Oh, apparently these are swimming pools, not a waste. Oh, yes, they kind of are. There's this... There's this little lizard at the bottom. Oh, it's supposed to be some sort of desert resort town or something? Whatever. Anyway. The... As I was saying, Yurga has slashers. These Avengers have a bit of a harder time, then. Not much harder, though. And... You can see how Sabir keeps his fighters very close all the time. He did it the previous game as well. It's a good way of using them. And avoiding uh, individual uh, fighters to get picked off. Well, yeah, although they do have the fact that they fly away after they... They go past target and they fly apart from each other, and that can be risky. It's difficult to control that part. It looks like... 
Yogstoth is not going for air anymore. Oh no, he is starting to build more Avengers. But he had stopped, so Yogstoth can be slightly behind in terms of air construction. And Saab going around with the Avengers. Does see Skazi coming in with a four Scorcher attack. But we have uh, fighters. We do have fighters. They're going to help defending us. That Scorcher's going to do what they can. The fighter's getting cut up a bit in the mountain, but these Scorchers are actually going to be able to... They're going to be having a bit of a hard time with that Slasher. And getting rid of one of the melee strategies, getting rid of more... Getting rid of the Slashers from the looks of it. Yes, one of the Slashers does go down. The other Slasher out of range. If he could get a Constructor, but he doesn't. No, but he does get the slashers. He does get the melee extractors. The last slasher... Oh, I mean, the last melee extractor, I mean, stays up. The last scorcher does not live. Yogstoth's going to try to deal with this as best he can with his own Avengers, but they're not going to be able to come in in time, so avoiding that once again, building up more Avengers, trying to just get that critical mass for air control. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Skazi just wants to make sure that nothing is built over here either. Oh, the nice. Side of the map. Free constructive pickup. Yeah, that's definitely a good kill. Down it goes. And the slasher is in range to... Oh, not quite. It gets blocked off by the hill. Was in range, but the hill gets in the way. And that's going to be a free defender. Gets rid of the defender. That's that's this entire wind farm and the generator... Or the... Not the generators. Wind generators, but unfortunately, that Scorcher did not kill the melee strider before it died. It got too close to the laser turret. Didn't quite work out. Almost got a good free set of kills, but not enough. Doesn't really matter, though. He's switching over to Crashers just in case to... Well, not just in case. Just in case his Avengers right. don't work out. So I uh, gets, uh, can get a free uh, Constructor kill. But there are fighters. If he sees it, he'll take it down. Yeah. The but, crashers, uh, some of the Crashers are already play. up. And big air battle going on. It looks like Saab is going to win out in this. Hard to tell, though. Yes, he is. He did manage to get all of his... Or somehow they all got behind the... But it's Yogstoth, but no, this Yogstoth is still managing to get there, and Saab escapes. Two of his fighters escape, the rest of them do die, and Yogstoth loses all but three. So reduce air power. Take care of that uh, constructor to the right, that's important. Oh yeah, this is going to be a problem. But he does so. Saab loses that crane, and needs to repair all of these... Oh, Swifts, that's what they're called now, not Avengers. Needs to repair all of these Swifts. Raven's coming around, getting rid of a Scorcher here and there. Not a terribly bad thing, but the Crasher would probably be a better... Oh, no! The Crasher can take two hits. Never mind. 900 health. It can take two Raven hits. Can't take mm. that many Slasher hits, though. Well, actually, can't take a lot of Slasher hits, come to think of it. But now the Raven's going to be able to kill it. I yeah. wonder where... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it correctly. What are you looking for? Yeah, why the oh. metal income was so off. But it's uh, equal again. Yeah, also Yogstoth morphing up to level 3 commander. Beam laser auto repair at range speed. It's going for so far. And it looks like Saab is going to win the air fight. Just now doing it. No crashes in view. And nice positioning with all of his air units. Two fighters left for Yogstoth and Saab's. Saab's wins out. Saab takes air control. Though there are still some crashers. That's still going to be a bit of a problem. But it's not going to be easy anymore for Yogstoth. Uh, Skazi is a big army idling. Uh, now he starts to move it. It's a bit late. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's a lot of Scorchers. And yeah, if you can get a Constructor, well. it would be awesome. What? Oh. Okay, apparently Saab has something to take care of, so I guess we'll just go over the state of the game right now. Saab has a couple... Go with you. Saab has a couple of Ravens being set up. Looks like he's probably going to go in for... Probably just metal snipe at this point. I don't think he's gonna go for a comm snipe yet. Skazi does have level one comm. Yogstoth not quite finished morphing. Ah, game is unpaused. Yogstoth not quite finished morphing to level three. It's not really focusing on and its commander. A fusion but... plant. A fusion plant coming for Yurga though. It's worth pointing out. Oh, that's a bit early. Yeah, I know, but well, actually it is. He's got no caretakers here. He's Caretaker is helping the fusion plant. Yurga has 27 metal income, though. This is, this is risky. This is really risky. I'm not sure what he... I guess he's planning on doing this just to overdrive his mexes, but... He's got... Well, 10 seconds left. But the more important thing is that number of units. That being said, looks like he's managed to push off Skazi Scorchers, at least that half of Skazi Scorchers. 
The other half of the Scorchers are still around the map. Still gonna be a bit of a Scalzi problem. Scalzi really needs uh, some more radars in the center of the map. To or, see, uh... He has quite a few radars in the center of the map, actually. He's raiding out the center of the map pretty well, in fact. No, I mean, radar, sorry. Oh, yeah. He does need more radar in the center of the map. I think... Well, yeah, right now, Saab and Yurga have a pretty good view. Skazi and Yogstoth don't know what's going on in the center at all. Yogstoth does have... He's got the sniper shot, or beam laser concussion shot, rather. Not the sniper shot. But his commander has been spotted in the northwest, and Yurga and Saab are probably going to get rid of that. Saab, however, does not have a whole lot of shadows, or ravens, rather. He's getting another Phoenix. Stop. Another couple Phoenixes. Saab looks like he's planning on getting rid of these Scorchers here with the Phoenixes. That he's building up. And yes, one of them is actually moving out to get rid of the Scorchers to intercept them. At the same time, Yogg'Sathoth moving a bunch of vamps. Sorry, what are they called now? They're called Hawks. Moving a bunch of Hawks in over to the northwest side of the map. And that will be of some use. But not the most. I mean, it's going to stop the comm snipe. That is true. But the Scorchers are the big problem. Actually, the Scorchers are... Ooh, Skazi gets that southeast side. They're slowly but surely just taking away what Saab and Yurga have. So it looks like... Mm. What's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a grip on the metal income. Um. Well, it looks like Saab and Yurga are well ahead. Especially since the fusion plant is done. Though these metal extractors... Okay, Saab... I'm sorry, Yurga just now getting his overdrive going. So he's, no, he's low in energy. And look at how many constructors uh, Yurga is making. How few the other team has. Yeah, Yurga's definitely got a lot of masons going. But what I'm That's wondering is, why is he not overdriving? He's, he's overdriving? Clear. And there's a reclaim and there's... Yeah, I know, but I mean, is that his... Mexes are pretty far apart. Yeah, but he has a bunch of mexes near that fusion plant. He's just running out of energy, despite having 64 energy income. Anyway, we do have, well, Skazi coming here trying to deal with this, but it looks like Yogg'Sath's commander pushing forward. That's his main force right now. Skazi's commander has been at level one this entire time, but Yogg'Sath's commander, not so much. And yeah, Skazi getting rid of Yogg'Sath's, or Yurga's rather, shouldn't be getting rid of Yogg'Sath's stuff. That would be very bad. Yurga, however, intercepting these Scorchers, and looks like he's ready to just deal with them. However, the Skazi Scorchers are going around the side, and Sob's... Sob getting some glaives up. Sob has switched over to Cloakybot Factory, and got him. Okay, Strider Hub getting a Scorpion. There's a <laughs> nice. thing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a powerful thing to have. That Qualner is a bold one. Hmm? Which one? Yogstoth? Going uh, ninja style. Yeah, Yogstoth is being kind of silly. Not sure. He's actually taking quite a bit of damage. In fact, I think this is going to be it for him. Is that going to be it? He's got a lot of scorches on him. Yes, this is going to be it. That is Yogstoth's commander down. That was a lot of metal poured into that commander. 3275 metal poured into that commander. A lot of units that could have been. So Yogstoth. Yeah, now you can see that the army values have equalized. Oh. Yeah, that was funny. A lot in that commander. Saab and Yurga, however, not going... I mean, Saab and Yurga never no, were going for that. All those constructors to oblivion. Well, yeah, this Phoenix is getting rid of as many of the Masons as they can. Which is actually quite yeah. a Yeah. That's quite a big loss. That's about six constructors. Well, they're trying to repair each other to stop each other from dying, but yeah, that's not going to help out too much. Oh, well, it'll help out a little bit. Actually, no, they survive thanks to mutual repair. Mm -hmm. Only one constructor ends up going down. Another attack coming from the right. Yeah, a bunch of Scorchers being set up along the side, trying to go up this, to the southeast side of the map, trying to get that expansion, getting rid of that. Would be kind of useful, but right now, Sabin, you're going to have a massive economy advantage. And an attempt to destroy the Scorcher here actually succeeds because the Scorcher decides to drive through the fire. Scorcher apparently not afraid of fire. As the name would suggest, nope. I suppose, but it's a heat ray. It's not burning. And Yurga no. coming in with some Ravagers, trying to get rid of this, but those Ravagers are going to be weakened. I think they'll be able to get through, though. No, never mind. That second... Those other Phoenixes are going to stop it. That last Ravager... No, that last Ravager does have a chance. Driving into the fire might not be the best move. 
Uh, but I think, yeah, he's got it. Yurga's actually taking this expansion. Knocked it out. <coughs> and a bunch of Scorchers at the center map. Now with Scorpion support, Saab gets Scorpion support. He's building a Dante behind this. 12 minutes in the game, we have a Scorpion. It's cloaked. Skazia and Yogstoth not quite aware of it yet. Well, nope. Skazia might be aware of it. Basically now. And out it goes. Stunning only some of them. The rest of them are able to get around surrounding that along with a fire. The Yogstoth burning a lot of Skazi's forces. And the Scorpion not taking that much damage. The Glaives all go down. But so do a lot of the Scorchers. Not sure how well that Scorpion's going to help out though. Dante, three minutes away from being done. Scorpion's taking a lot of damage, and it's getting surrounded by the Scorchers. It is not going to last. Not a terrible idea. However, Phoenix to come in to save that Scorpion. Not going to work. Scorpion goes down, killing off all the Scorchers around it in the process. Sob and Yurga still ahead in terms of army and economy, though. Even with the Scorcher. Definitely. Being, Scorpion <clears throat> destroyed. Yurga, I mean, look how much map Yurga has. He's got all the map. Yeah. All the map is his, and some attempts are just burn up everything by Yogg'Sothoth, but even that's not going to be enough. Yogg'Sothoth looks like he's probably going to be losing most of his... Oh, okay. Big hot play going on in the center of the map. This is going to decide who has air control once again. I think Saab is actually... Again. On this. No, he's going to win out on this once again. Saab takes air control, getting rid of all of Yogg'Sothoth's hawks, and one of the Phoenix... Actually, a couple of the Phoenixes getting shot out of the sky... A lot of stuff going down. Saab does lose a hawk here or there, but overall, very powerful attack. And where is this? Okay, the Raven is just going to the center of the map to die. Doesn't end up actually doing much good, unfortunately. More. Oh my goodness. These hawks are tearing apart all of Yogstoth's air force. Losing everything he had built up. Not working out well at all for him. Looks like that is yeah. going to... Sorry? Yeah, the Dave lost. Sabi wins. Yeah, Skazi does have a decent presence, but it's not enough. A lot of crashers, but even with that, it's not going to help. And it's all thanks to Yurga's uh, Constructor Spam. Yep, taking off that north side of the map all to himself. No, nom, 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 during nom, 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 the... Nom, nom, nom. Nom. They had a lot of reclaim all game long and they had more metal extractors all game long. It was Skazi and Yorksatov that won a lot of the fights for the most part of the game. Yeah. But yeah, matter, then though. of course there was a troll commander again that didn't do anything. No. And then, uh, Man, this map isn't big enough for that to be something you can recover from easily. Exactly. So there's the final attack. Yorka coming in with a bunch of Ravagers. Getting rid of these crashers. Which did get rid of the Hawks, I think, but still. That's not going to help out too much. And, well, Yogg's trying to go for a light vehicle switch up, but that's that factory's not going to last well. If the Raptors focus on it, it's not going to last for very long at all. Probably going to focus on the Air Factory, and that, that's the surrender. That's game. Scuzzy and Yogg's blow all their stuff up. They take all their stuff and detonate it. And go home. Actually, not quite. Game one... That's what we watched. Game two. It was just up. game one. It was just game one. We'll have game two in a moment. So stay tuned, everyone. Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Three 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 with second game of Sabin Yurga versus Skazi and Yogzatoth. Sub and Yurga did a pretty good job last game. They did lose the fights, but they got the economy and won that way. Macro won. <sighs> and if previous game was an indication about macro skills, then... We're going to be on Comic Catcher Redux. It's I going to be... Uh, get some popcorn. Get a snack. Fair uh, indication of how this... Well, yeah, Sob and Yurga are out. probably going to take it. There's not much doubt about that. <laughs> You're calling it speed metal redux. <laughs> yeah. Well, looks like the game is about to start. So we'll get that going. 
have at the catching up. What? Saab and Jurga are starting close together. One tanks, one vehicles. So is the other side, but they. Uh, yeah, Scott's going for light vehicles. Starting. Yogg's going for. Sorry, Scott's going for tanks. Yogg's going for light vehicles. Saab and Jurga are going to be. Well, it's going to be an interesting match. It's going to be bloody long. Saab though, because doesn't. No one's well, Skazi, if you want yet. a baby, you need to find someone to impregnate, I guess, or get impregnated by. I don't actually know what your sex is, so one of the two. That, or I suppose you could adopt, or I wouldn't recommend kidnapping. That's frowned upon in our society. I mean, it's a solution, but it's a bad one. Oh, wait. Skazi shouldn't actually be able to see this anyway. No. But you can also just get... Huh? Also, I'm not sure if Skazi wants a baby with... I don't know. Skazi just says he wants a baby. He's not really specifying anything to do with it. Nor the species. Yeah, that's true, actually. You know what? Get a kitten. <laughs> exactly. Get a kitten. They're really cute. Like, especially if you can get a, a ragdoll kitten. Baby mosquito, kitten. you've probably... Have... No, don't get a baby mosquito. I hate mosquitoes. But I like kittens. Kittens are much better than mosquitoes. Not that there's really much competition. <laughs> Anyway, Yogstoth does see what Yurg is up to, and nothing really. I mean, Skazi, however, not quite seeing what Saab is Saab up to. Saab made five, five darts, but he didn't do much with them. No, he's sort of sending them around. Oh, never mind. He does see what Saab is up to. Fully aware of Saab is going for the vehicles. So that scouting was successful for both players. And now moving on to the part of the game where they try to kill each other, which is the majority of the game. Mm. Actually, in this map, there really isn't much of a raiding phase, so I suppose it's really just down to... I guess the occasional raider party that gets through. Because it's hard to set up a defense line at this stage in the game. Oh, and a dart's dart. going Ooh, to get the constructor. Nice. Yeah, well, it's not going to kill the constructor, but it is going to kill that metal extractor. Scorcher coming from Yogstoth to get rid of that dart, so the dart just scared off. Saab does get out of the way, but that was still wise. I was wise moving out, but it was also a good harass. Got rid of the metal extractor. For free. Yogg'Soth, however, is pushing forward pretty heavily. Panthers are in place to deal with this. Though, three Scorchers will get rid of that without... Oh, no, never mind. No, 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 issue. no, 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 no. Got, got too close. Two Panthers aren't going to be able to beat three Scorchers, no problem. And one of them getting stuck in the rocks and dies. That was a bad place to get stuck. Getting stuck on rocks does not usually end well. No, uh, it's really an issue I hope gets solved in the next engine version. It's been solved already. Just some selection issues are delaying the usage of the next engine. Uh. Yeah, something came up in, like, I think, 100 Git versions ago that caused something around the same time the SDL2 switch was happening that messed up the u default unit shape selection. Not the, not the borders or the outline selection I use, but the default unit shape selection that mm -hmm. got messed up. So, yeah. Waiting on that to be fixed. Anyway, Yogstoth morphing up to level one, no big deal. Beam laser auto repair. And Skazi is, ooh, Panther Wars at the west side of the map. And it looks like Yurga is going to be, well, he's going to be scared off a bit, but he did manage to kill one of Skazi's tanks without losing any of his own. Took some damage, but that can be repaired. Yeah, as I was saying, where's Skazi's commander? Skazi's commander is over here. Has not morphed yet, and looks like we have. Oh, we have. It's going now. Scorcher um, Saab's commander, which has. You can see out. how quickly Sabir and Yurga are taking their backland with metal extractors. Hmm. Now slowly, Skazi and Yogsatov are doing that. Well, Skazi and Yogsatov are at the side of the map where it's. Oh, never mind. It's symmetric. What am I saying? Yeah, Skazi and Yogsatov really aren't. It's not just the back, actually, it's more that Saab and Yurga, from the looks of it, took a lot of the front line and then expanded backwards, whereas Yogg'Soth and Skazi are trying to take their back line and then expand forwards. So they have a lot less map it's, presence. It's, it's if Sabir, it's team has uh, four constructors running around. And uh, oh. up until recently, Skazi's team just had two. Yeah, that would do it. Although they're still slightly ahead in metal income, that's because well, of the commander. Yurg is the one pushing those those constructors more than Saab is. Saab is more commander based. Yeah. 
You're, I don't even know. Oh, his commander's back at the base. Beam laser, nano lathe. Pushing forward a bunch of nano towers and then, well, caretakers oh, rather. It's not it's a good attack with the Scorches. He can get more maxes now. Oh, no. Well, that defender has just run out. Yeah, that's true. These two Scorchers are actually in a good... They're in a great spot right now. This one getting rid of the defender and... Well, that, if he can get it constructed, it would be awesome. I don't know. That might happen. We'll see what happens, though. This Scorcher here is... It's in a good spot, but it's going to be... It's going to corner it. It's got that constructor. That constructor <laughs> is dead. Right in the corner of the map. At the same time, however, we do have... It wouldn't be such a bad idea at this point oh, for Yoksatov to make sure uh, the metal goes to Skazi's Panthers. I think it's nice, it would be nice to have some more Panthers now. Yeah, that's not what they need right now. Because Scorchers are going to be running out of usefulness. But it looks like that's not going to happen. Yoksatov pushing heavy Scorcher. Heavy, heavy, heavy Scorcher. Also getting Fusion Plant. Ooh, can he get that Constructor? Ah, that's dangerous. Which Constructor? On the left side. No, oh yeah, deep. he is going for it. That's not going to work out. Those Panthers have to retreat. And these Scorchers in the northeast just getting killed did not retreat after that attack. Yogstoth has left them to die. That was a little bit rude. Leaving his troops to die like that. I'm sure they didn't appreciate that. But yeah, Saab net some free kills and get some economy. Sheesh. And it looks like yeah, the people in chat are pointing out that South does have a better economy. That is true. They have managed to expand forward, although it looks like... And it's, they North did have fewer constructors. Rapid. It was their commanders that did it. Yeah, so their commanders are very vulnerable. And an air plant... Oh, nice wall block. A nice wall of solar collectors, too. But an mm -hmm. air plant right behind that wall of solar collectors, ready probably to build up some ravens. And uh, get to killing. Your guy's getting a dangerous leak. Because we're still in the part of the game where killing, where players are trying to kill each other. Oh yeah. And then the game ends and the players stop trying to kill each other. Normally. But it looks like Panther Wars coming in here and Yurga might just... Oh, Yurga actually got uh, killed, hit by two of the deaths. A bunch of his Panthers getting stunned out by Skazi's Panther's own deaths. That's a bit of a problem. Another Panther goes big... down for Skazi, but it looks like... This... Yeah, this is... Those Panthers, those Panthers. Well, Yorga handily wins regardless. At the same time, though, Yogstoth coming in with Scorchers. Trying to get rid, getting rid of a Welder. Got the Welder kill. Losing all of the Scorchers in the process. They're all but one. All but one of the Scorchers. More Scorchers, however, are coming in to the east side of the map. At the same time, Panthers are trying to assault a bit. Oh, Skazi's Commander, Ride Cannon. Ride Cannon, Armor, and Speed. <laughs> Stardust, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't see Stardust. those often. Actually, I've been seeing them a lot in some of the ones who want them casting. Yeah. They've gone fairly popular recently. Yeah, the more radius you see, the. But yeah, this is. Well, Saab actually managed to get in, retreats past Yogsadot's defenses, loses all of his Scorchers, but does get rid of radar, does get rid of Metal Extractor. That radar is probably a much bigger thing, though. Although. Well, I don't know. That really didn't make a difference. Yogsoth has front radar. This radar at the front is just not going to make that last that radar in the back death just mean anything. And air switch coming up for Yogsoth as well. And we have some phoenixes set up. Phoenixes and hawks are up for for Saab. We'll see what he goes from here though. Looks like he is Well, what what exactly is going to go on here? Fusion reactor in a nice little protected spot. That's nice to see. Yeah, it's already done. And Ravagers are coming through as well. And that's going to be... Well, those Ravagers are just going to tear apart everything. Or, sorry, get torn apart by everything. Not going to be able to get through anything here. And Panther Wars, once again, Skazi's commander actually going to go down to the Panthers here. Yuxta, or Yurga, about to kill Skazi's commander. Down it goes. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the Panthers everything just gets is <laughs> Except for a welder. Which is doing its best to get rid of some of the Panthers. And actually, Yurga loses all of his Panthers in the process. Or all the Panthers that were over there, anyway. He has many more Panthers along the way, though. Yeah, Skaz is really making uh, SimCity. And uh, he's making a maze out of uh, Comet Catcher. Maze. And down, and Yurga sending in some bombers, but getting stunned out by Panthers. Not able to do anything. Does manage to 
kill one of the Panthers, though, but loses a lot, loses all of his Ravens in the process. That really didn't work out too well, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's pretty problematic. Although, it looks oh, like you're... Oh, Skazi. Ah, Skazi losing more of his Panthers for free. Did not have to lose his Panthers. Losing a Welder, too. And we've seen how big the Constructors are. That Welder going down. Not necessary. Really not necessary. There's a big uh, vehicle bull uh, forming up in the center. Yeah, but it's getting hit by Phoenix. Phoenix is going to slow down a fair bit. Phoenix and the remaining scores are going to show slow down somewhat. Second Phoenix doesn't manage to get the shot off, though. Those... Well, those Swifts are doing a really nice job there. Stopping a lot of the damage. Well, okay, so Yogstoth solidly has air control now. It's one thing to point out. That economy advantage turning into air control pretty heavily. Although, at this point, economy has evened out. But Yogstoth having an army advantage... And now Yoskotov should learn to not push forward and as soon as you win a single fight, because every time this happens, you lose your army, you lose your advantage. Yeah, I, he might be and thinking that econ advantage is big enough that it doesn't matter. I don't know, Re rebuild everything and keep going, but it's not going to work out here. He just took out a lot of his metal extractors, just reclaim it, retreat, uh, kill something in the center instead. But every, every time, every game, people win one fight and think they can win the entire game afterwards mm. by pushing through. Yeah, although admittedly, Skazi is about to win a... F well, Skazi not quite winning this didn't push forward. If Skazi okay. would win it, he couldn't get in. He no, uh, but he's not going to win attacking. it from the looks of it. He had a chance, but some of the Panthers were stunned out, but he didn't take it when it came up. And it looks like... Well, that Raven's going to go down. Oh, no, never mind. A bunch of Hawks from Saab and Yurga coming in to get rid of those Swifts. Retaking air control. So... Both of them are going heavy on air. Now, is Skazi going to go for air? No, he is going to go instead for more welders. More welders and panthers. Pure welder panthers, man. But it looks like that's really just replacement. This one, Yurga has had a massive advantage on his fights. Pretty much won most of those panther fights. Yeah. And we are getting into some artillery territory here. Chainsaw being built for Yogstad in the center of the map. That will be problematic for Saab and Yurga. That would be very nice indeed. That will... Well, that will definitely turn things around somewhat. I mean, Skazi and Yogstad need to win this. That or they're out. Yeah, it goes for both teams. This is game two. Isn't Three. It? What? Oh. Or the second game. I'm, no, I'm not game sure. Two. Oh, wait. No, it's game two. You're right. Yeah, it was Desert Needle was first, and Saab and Yurga won. And this is yeah. game two. And it looks like Yurga gonna lose all of his Panthers here. Everything is stunned Although anyway. Banishers are finishing everything else off, so the Banishers just here are a support. And quite effective support too, although even then they are getting stunned out. One more Banisher shot gonna go up, and not quite killing that Panther. If it had, that would have stopped its own death. And Raven gonna try to get rid of that one last Panther. No, not quite. Gets shot down before even getting a shot off. However, it looks like a couple of the Panthers do go down to another couple of Ravens. At the same time, though, Yogsdoth taking the center of the map has a bunch of crashers just to deal with any of the air that comes up. And the Chainsaw as well. This is a no-fly zone. <laughs> Nothing can get in there. Anything that does will die. The animation of those rockets in the Chainsaw is kind of funny. Yeah, they sort of fly around the air when they miss. No, oh. how they all oh, you mean the actual... reload up. Oh, yeah. yeah. It does look pretty cool. It does. Apparently that's an interim model, but I think it actually looks nice. Anyway, yeah. Skazi getting rid of more air units. It's lucky for the air units that when they stop moving, they don't fall out of the sky. Don't have to worry about pesky things like <laughs> lift and gravity. Yeah, it's a moon without gravity anyway. Moons have gravity. They don't. Well, they don't have an atmosphere, which actually make it even harder to fly. Can't have lift without an atmosphere. Oops. It's anti-gravity engine. Oh, yeah, right. Of course. Anti-gravity planes. <laughs> they fly on the graviton waves. Or gravitation waves. Exactly. Yeah, but now the south uh, seems to have won. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be going into game three. I didn't Stop expect that. I... They can, but... 
Given yeah, I the guess first five minutes of the game, I would have given the game to Sabir. Well, that, I guess, turned around. I mean, they did push the economy, and Sabir and Yurga did not raid all that much. And I guess the Panther, despite losing the Panther Wars, it still worked out. Hmm. Uh, singularity in the top right. <laughs> what? Oh, that explains where all their economy went. What is this doing here? It's a bit too early, dudes. <laughs> yeah, about 40 minutes too early. I want to wait up that until the hour mark. Well, at least this game was mercifully short. And yeah, for a comment catcher game, it uh, must have been at least short. Minutes. Oh yeah, Google for pointed out the chainsaw kind of looks like a Chrono Porter. Which I guess on the right angle it sort of does, but... I don't know. And that is... Game 2. So we're moving on to Game 3. On a map other than Comet Catcher for Game 3. Red Comets. Oh, uh, or the other one. The, uh, day and Night? Or was it Black and White? Or uh, No, like Moon Quartet. Dark Side of the Moon? Um... Moon Quartet. Yeah, with the black and white uh, in the lower left, top right. Yeah. I don't get why this map is so popular. Anyway, so yeah, 1-1. One, one. Moving on to game three. Stay tuned, everyone. Welcome back, 0K fans. It's Shadow 3 with game three of Saab Yurga vs. Kazi Yogsadoth, which is starting now on Red Comet. The Saab. Yes, Loss of the free one to one. Identical factory choices. Identical start locations. Yep. Perfectly. E wow. Yeah. Exactly identical. Oh no, not quite. No, no, no. If it was identical, then Skazi's factory would be on the other side of that metal line. Yeah. Okay. But well, the general direction of that factory yeah. is. Uh... Saab and Yagstoth are exactly <laughs> symmetric, though. Although, Saab is focusing on pushing out a lot of Scorchers. Going for another Scorcher rush, but Yogstoth, is he going to spot this? I don't know, I think he might. Oops. Yes, he does spot it, just barely. His Dart sees it coming. He is going to be prepped for this. He's getting his own Scorchers. I don't think he's... Is he going to build on top of this? Oh, right. Probably get the audio in the correct game. There we go. Yeah, Skazi is going to be... Oh, getting workers. <laughs> and Panthers. He's ready for the attack, though. He's ready for the Scorchers coming in. And those Scorchers are going to be... Well, they're going to try. Mm, if they would have teamed those two up. Yeah, nice surround would have done. However, that was a good distraction for the Kodachi. But the Kodachi not able to get out of the way before it dies. No, the Kodachi is going to die. It gets cornered out, and that's it. Oh, what? Oh, sir. No, oh, they my goodness. On. Yeah, that Kodachi is... That Kodachi's dead. Tried to get out of the way, but did not quite manage it. And Skazi, his commander, is not at all threatened. But it looks like there's a dart back here, fully aware of what's going on in Zab and Yurga's base, and this Lotus cannot hit it. It's just out of range from the looks of... Oh, come on, don't reset my hockeys. Just out of range from the looks of it. That's got to be a pain. It looks like... Saab Slasher doing a pretty good job defending a bit. And, okay, Panther coming in the back. Yurga gets rid of that dart, finally. So yeah, Skazi is... pushing out in the center with his Panthers. Yurga... Yogstoth... That's pushing out as well. Okay, actually, Yogstoth being very forward. Both of them being very forward. Hmm. Saab mm -hmm. and Yurga are much more around the back. Although, so is Yogstoth. Everyone's pretty even right now. Neither... Okay, actually, Skaz and Yogstath have a slight army advantage, but otherwise it looks like it's pretty well even between the two sides. Uh, Skaz is quicker this time. Yeah, and they actually have quite a lot of information. Wow, okay, never mind. Skaz and Yogstath have a radar advantage right now. Saab and Yurga need to build radar up in the north, because Skaz right now has... Uh, Skaz and Yogstath together have radar across pretty much their two-thirds of the map. Or the near two-thirds yep. of the map on their side. And Yogsdoth trying to come around here with Scorchers, trying to harass a bit. That's not... Is that going to work? Nope. Oh, Skazi and... Uh, 
Yoskotov can attack now at the same time. They'll yes, crush but they that little expo. Uh, ah, shoot. Actually, well, it looks like the Scorchers are distracting the Panthers and the other Panthers. See how these Panthers are coming in while well, Yurga's Panthers are distracted. And one of them actually goes down, or a couple of them go down in the process. So Skazi able to get in. Nice. That was a nice feint. Actually, that worked out pretty well. Ah, uh, Sabi, you're about your flossing. Why did... Oh, okay. Anyway. Skazi is... Going to... Well, he's going to lose one of these. One of the Panthers goes down. The other Panthers, Lucy is going for a suicide run. I don't agree with that. Don't suicide. Not if you don't have to. And you don't have to. Oh, he does just barely get away. Gets that leveler. Stops in time. Needs to avoid going north, though. This Panther here is going to take a lot of damage. It's not going to work. Oh, that Panther getting out of the way. But at the same time, the center of the map. Sob's commander about to go down. And down it goes. Sob loses Ooh, This just might win them the game. That will win them the game. Sob has no energy econ or five energy at this point. They basically have to do a do or die attack to get Skazi and Yogstoth. If they get rid of one of Skazi or Yogstoth's commanders, probably Yogstoth. They'll have a bit of a chance, but Skazi and Yogstoth are really the, their eco now, so it's. <laughs> yeah. Well played. Ouch. Yeah, Sob. E-cell command? Oh no, it wasn't even E-cell, it wasn't even upgraded. It was just the 8 energy off the commander. <laughs> Which is basically Ouch. an E-cell commander. Yeah, basically it was is old style E-cell commander. But now it's their turn to do a combined attack. This is what I mean, it's the do or die attack, this is gonna be it. If this works then it will end up giving them there the game. There are not that many LCs, they're mostly uh, defenders. Mostly defenders, but all but one of them are defenders. This leveler is... Oh shoot, that's way too far forward. The Panthers are not there to help it out. So that leveler is going to go down. The other levels behind it, however, are going to have a bit of a chance. That leveler goes down. The Panther behind it, however, not going to make it. And it looks like Yogstoth, he's open right now. He's very open. But Saab and Jurgen not going for it. <sighs> that was the only timing they had, actually, even then. I wouldn't have mined one away. more LT for Yogstoth. <laughs> well, he has three further south from there. Now, right where he stands now. Yeah, that's that's true. That would help. And Skazi Forward. does... Okay, Skazi is just going to push this. Continuing to push along in the north. Getting Panthers as well to harass. Getting rid of that Slasher. Actually, that Panther's going to go down. Just bare, Oh, not quite. Once again, saves the Panther. Skazi's been saving his units from near death so often. I don't even know if it counts as <laughs> dead until they're Rex. He doesn't have yeah, Lazarus device, right? Okay. Something he's doing pretty well. Yeah, now Yoskotov is overdoing there the defenders. There we go. A unit has died. One of Skazi's unit has in fact died, but it looks like Skazi does not have a whole lot of defense around his commander. And I think his commander is actually about to go down. Uh, it's a right kind of commander. He can uh, take him. Well, we'll see. It depends on whether or not he gets stunned. But it looks like the Panthers uh, are taking the stuns in advance. And oh, that was a bad place to kill that Panther in. Yurga loses two of his Panthers for free thanks to that explosion stun. But it looks like Skazi's commander is going to get stunned out and yeah Yurga going for the kill here he's gonna kill Scott's commander are so silly. <laughs> down it goes everybody's Ouch. stunning each other it's silly yes panther panther spam it's just weird I mean I'm glad they threw in the explosions the explosion stun because that really does balance them out pretty well but yeah that is weird Wow, okay. Yeah, you, you're talking about Yogstoth's defenses. He's a he's turtled up completely now. He's he is all defense. Does he even have mobile yeah. units? He has He has one Ravager. Yeah, yeah. One Ravager and one point three thousand metal worth of defense. Oh, and a Dominatrix. Two Dominatrixes. Dominatrix spam. He's just going for Domi. Actually I think Saab and Yurga might be able to turn this around. Their economy is leveled out. Stopped eco stalling, and Yurga still has his own commander. Now his commander uh, is, is just, uh, He's making stupid units and making too many defenses. Yogstoth? Yeah, he's not. Yeah. Oh, the Reaper. The Reaper's about to get taken. Or well, I don't think about to get taken. It's gonna take a while for it to get taken. That Reaper's gonna be able to do something here. Another Reaper behind to try to help out, but it looks like Yogstoth going back behind his defenses. I think Jurga can play this game of repair and retreat Reaper for a long time. Oh yeah. His only concern is the Dominatrix, I think. Uh. As long as he can get rid of the Dominatrix before he loses them or loses the Reapers to them, he should be fine. 
And even then, it's going to be kind of tough for the Dominies to actually be able to get the Reapers. It'll take a while. But there are four Dominies, or three Dominies in play. And now he's... Battle is being joined here. The Reaper's going to get rid of these Scorchers, no problem. But after that, it's going to be a bit tricky. Domination's coming in 20%. Oh, 20% captured already. I'm waiting for the aircraft effect right now. Yeah, neither player is going for that. Or none of the players are going for that. Fusion Plant is coming up for Yurga. So they're going to get their energy advantage. And from there, also Overdrive. Massive Overdrive. But yeah, this repair is taking up a lot of their energy. Anyway, looks like north side. We do have some levelers trying to deal with Panthers. But the Panthers for Skazi are... Keeping everything around. <laughs> Although Saab is still able to reclaim his own commander corpse. So not a problem yet. Although admittedly, once he loses that, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of econ. That's five metal that he has. At this point, there is still an econ advantage for Skazi for yeah, Skazi and Yogstoth. Yeah, definitely. And Yogstoth going to level three of this commander. That's gonna be a mistake. He is getting a stinger as well. That I think is also a mistake. The Reapers will be able to take uh, it out too quickly. It won't lose him the game immediately, but it's no, but it's not, not the a good choice, idea. I think. Well, it's not the worst, Albert. but Skazi coming in with some, quite a few actually. Panthers, Panthers doing a great job harassing right now, getting rid of. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Well, they were doing a great job. One of them died, over to a leveler, and the others die shortly after, thanks to the stun. And that stinger is up, but the Reapers about to get rid of it. And Yogstoth, his commander... Oh! Actually, the Dominatrix, that's the big problem. One of the Panthers... Okay, a Panther ends up using up Dominatrix level... Or Dominatrix reload. But... The Reapers... Really, they're made a disadvantage at the reload time. And they aren't hitting everything. One of the Dommies does go down. One of the Reapers goes down. <laughs> I don't know about the repair game. Nice coordinated strike now. Yeah, that was a... This is a wonderful strike by Skazi and Yogstoth. These Panthers here at the front, they're just taking out everything. Doing a great job dealing with all this, and Dummies coming in claiming metal extractors, <laughs> flipping the economy over for Yogzatoth. Reapers trying to do what they can, but I think Saab and Yurga may not have much of a chance here. Yogg's commander as well has got getting to level four, and level three is pretty strong. It's yeah, speed armor, auto repair, conch shot, beam laser. Oh boy, and the Panther's gonna finish off the Reapers. And finish off the rest of the base. I don't know if Saab has anything coming in here. Saab is getting cloaky bots for some reason. Maybe getting snipers. He's probably trying to get rid of Yogstoth's commander. Yogg's going command charge now. Yeah, and a couple of Reapers are going to try to do what they can to deal with that. And it's actually not going to be that ineffective. Though, unfortunately, they are going to die too quickly. One of the Reapers is going to get captured. And that's going to die bef thanks to a leveler. And one of the welders is getting captured as well. Those dominatrices. Those dominators, these Yurga morphing his commander finally. Partly able to defend this, but still very tough. Yogsoth, his commander is. Wow, his commander's at 100, 300 health. Not great. But yeah, no air factor for either player. Klogibot Factory is done, and. I would have suspected, uh, I expected Yurga to plop down a fair factory when he saw those three dominatrixes five minutes ago, three minutes ago. Yeah, you think so. Although. A bit surprised that these. He's going for Rocco spam now. He's going to try to outrange the yacht. The, how is that supposed to work? 360 range? Uh, okay, maybe. 360 and 460. Okay, the Rockos do have range. They could outrange Yogstoth's commander, but still. Too much support. And the heavy tank factory about to go down. And, what the? Oh. We have impalers at the other side of the map. And down there was the heavy tank factory. Scorchers follow, but. Yeah, an impaler over. Or no, not an impaler. A pillager and. Oh, no, there's an Impaler. Never mind. Yeah, Yogstoth's commander just taking care of everything. Not much can be done about this. And I don't know how much this is going to go. I think Yogstoth has... just He just needs to push in, I think. Skazi is yeah. pushing in. Oh my goodness. I this like the artillery. He snipes Mexus from afar. Oh, yeah, the pillager. Although that's going to go down. He needs to run away. That pillager yeah, is not going to last Sabi too long. Yeah, Sabi was doing the exact same thing with, uh, what is it called? Impaler. Yeah. But the Impaler is not quite... Oh, well, it is homing, I think. 
Oh, it's working it's somewhat. Not... No, it's not. Well, it doesn't matter though. That Impaler needs to retreat. I'm trying to get it. Some of these Scorchers, but not really able to do too much. At this point, with the, the economy difference, and look at this! It's, all these Panzers are coming around the back, killing everything with impunity. Okay, Solid's factories are down. They're done. This is game. This is match. Not much more to be oh. said about this. Oh, Skazi much. coming in from both sides. Panthers, did Skazi make? What? He has been making only Panthers all game. Yeah, and well, one he, he's got 16 right now. And out comes a sniper. A sharpshooter gets rid of a panther with its own death. Yeah, the factors are going to go down. Impaler trying to help out, but it's not doing much. Look about factory stunned out completely. Both factories stunned out completely. Both players choose to resign, and that is game. That is match. And we are on to either the bronze, I guess the bronze match. So we'll be seeing Saab and Yurga again pretty soon. Because they are now in bronze match. I think Goda and Forever... Goda, Forever, Drone, El Torero were playing their match right now. I'm not sure. Check. I have no clue. No, I have no idea. So I don't know what match we'll be doing next. But stay tuned anyway. And then we'll cast whatever we cast. And it should at least be somewhat entertaining. Somewhat entertaining, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. So stay tuned.